guys, um, a lot of you have been having questions on the swap bot um, swap. So what I thought I would do instead of typing it out to everybody is kind of just show you on swap bot how to do things. Um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to one that has not been assigned a partner yet. See right down here when you go on to your, after you log in and you go on to your page, you'll have all your swaps that you're um, signed up for. Right here's our group swap, the planner goodie swap. Um, but right here's one that I'm signed up for that is not, um, has signed a partners and see it tells you right there assign partners no just like our swap bot thing right here says assign partners no it's and it gives you all the information you need like sign up date swap date deadline you have to send it out to how many people are in the swap all that good stuff so let me go to this one okay and over here right here is the yellow spot is basically showing you all the stuff you can do right now on your swap is view participants move to watch list or drop from swap now you have till the 19th if you changed your mind and you signed up and decided not to do this swap you can drop from the swap until the 19th after the 19th you can no longer do that so let's go back to our dashboard and then you go back and you sent everything else okay now let's go to one that's been assigned partners so i can explain that to you here's one that's been assigned partners Okay, now, this one, it's, see how it looks different now? Here you click. This is very important. You need to click here when you've sent your item so people know you've sent it. This is where you see who you're sending to. So you click on that, and I'm going to hide her information, but that, that is where you see your address and everybody you send to. And right here, you can click on her name and go to her profile. We'll go over profiles in just a second, but that is where you would click to go to her profile. Okay, here you would rate your partner and coordinator. This is going to be very important. I need you guys to really do this after you get your swaps because I need to know who is doing their swaps correctly. Basically, if they have sent you everything that's required in the swap, you are required to give them a five. Let's say they go above, even if you didn't like some of the stuff. If you liked everything and loved it, you can give them heart with it. Um, if they only sent part of the stuff but did not send everything they were supposed to send, you give them a three. And if you never got it, you need to send them a one. If they, you give them a three or one, I would really like for you to put a comment down here and explain why you did this. And I would really like for you to try to contact your partner before you do that because it's very important because sometimes in life something happens, somebody got in a car accident, God forbid, or had to have a family member got sick or something. Find out, you know, sometimes life happens and we can be a little patient and that sort of thing on this. Up here, you can give me, if, if, if you think I did a good job with the swap, if I explained everything, everything, you can give me a star or whatever you want to do with that. Okay, let's go back to our dashboards. So basically, another thing I want to go over with you on this is profile. Profiles are very, very important because you don't want... To me, I like to look at everybody's profile to see things that they like, what are they interested in, what their likes and dislikes is. And if you wanna update yours, mine has a lot of stuff on here, but if you wanna update yours, just to give somebody an idea of your likes and dislikes, just go on profile, edit profile, Okay, right here is just basic information. And basically what you would do is go to personal, Okay, and now here you can put in like your wish list. Like this is my Etsy store. Uh, actually, you the, you can put a URL on there and they can actually click on that link and go to that. My Amazon wish list, my Pinterest boards, and my SD wish list. This you can do eventually later. We may have an SD wish list swap later on after everybody's very comfortable with the swaps. We'll get to that later. But they have things on here you can put about, you know, um, about me, books, I did all of them and I kind of combined it a few on some of these, but down here I have like planners. I have, I explained the planners that I have on here um, and things that I love. Everything that I love is on here. So people can see what I am into and what I really like, what I collect, the same thing. Um, crafts, what I'm into, what I like, and also for other swaps that I do, what I do not like. I have on here things that I do not like and what I do not want to receive in a swap. You can you can go by that. It's always usually uh, the, swap, the person who's sending the swaps choice. But if somebody has on here, like I don't, I do not like Hello Kitty. It's just not for me. 
don't send them Hello Kitty. Um, if they got, I don't like owls, please don't send them owls. I mean, if you know for sure that they don't like that, you know, don't do that. But basically, that's how you edit it and go through. And then if you just want to look at your swap, my profile page, this is how you would actually, that profile page would look to somebody. Here, you would click on my SD store um, a link, my Amazon wish link, Pinterest boards, SD wish list. And then it's got everything else about me like this. This is how somebody would see it and here is when you get your ratings okay here's your ratings like somebody has rated me a five and they gave me a heart for something else i have done that's how you would see what somebody has rated you for and you can figure out basically what is going on with that okay um now basically the other thing i wanted to show you is like with the swap we're doing now um i'm going to go to that swap okay planner's goodie swap i'm going to click on that Your over here will look different because I actually did the swap, so mine is going to look a little bit different than this. And basically, I pretty much have in here what you kind of need to do. I will probably set the partners up for you on the 20th. I'll hit it on the 20th, and then you'll know. And then you have to the 31st to get it mailed out. You have one partner for this. Basically, okay, now I wanted to show you some things that I... Uh, would send on a swap okay um basically what i usually mail stuff in is you can get these at the dollar store they're just manila envelopes um i do use the bubble mailers so that they don't you know nothing gets hurt uh, it usually costs around around two dollars to mail it to do it that way but here are some ideas um these are all very inexpensive items i got these for 99 cents they're page flags um this i got for 99 cents at walmart um, here's some more ideas, like sticker ideas. You can do stickers like this. I cut these stickers up because I couldn't, um, I didn't need all of them. You could send somebody something like that, a few of them. That could be, um, one of your things. Now, if you're going to send stickers, you need to at least send 20 of them and they need to be, you, they can't be all like this size here. They need to be bigger, you know, somewhat. It's something you can use in a planner, not something that, is huge or whatever this is a little to-do list notepad i got this at the uh target at the dollar bin for a dollar um martha stewart now these you can open this up and only send them two pages you do not have to send them the whole entire thing that's what i like about this here's some more stickers um some journaling cards these are really cute ideas people to use journaling cards in theirs um some really fun cute Paper clips. I made actually made this one. You can make stuff to send in your swaps. Um, these other kind of paper clips. Um, this I also got at the dollar store at Target at the dollar bin. Um, here's just a page of stickers, cute heart stickers. Um, here, these actually are really adorable, and I got these at the dollar store. Both sets of these at the dollar store, so they're really really cute. Something I would send in a swap. Um, like if you have a page like this. These were 99 cents at Walmart. If you wanted to um, send these out, you and if it wouldn't fit in your menu, your envelope, open it up, cut it in half, and put it in there. As long as it's not wrinkled, it's fine. The same thing with something like this. You could do the same thing. Cut it in, in three sections and send it like that. You can send open stuff. That's not a problem. Um, another thing that I do sometimes, and we may have one of these because I love washi tape, and all I did with this is I chose four washi tapes uh here i chose four washi tapes and what i did was wrap them around basically a gift card uh whenever i go somewhere and they have gift cards sitting out i, I grab a bunch because you know i use them for this but um what is really cool about washi tape samples is that you're not sending spinning a whole bunch on a whole roll for somebody you're just sending them a sample of some of the stuff you have and this is non-sticky so they can reuse it i love getting stuff like this because i mean it may be stuff that i don't necessarily have and it can add to my collection so basically what when you do this basically the rule of thumb by this is is that you send at least 12 inches of washi tape which is usually six times around a gift card so I use, I do that sometimes too. So all these are acceptable things. Now you, it's not like you have to send all of these at once or anything like that. I'm just trying to give you ideas of stuff to send. And eventually later on, we may have a washi sample swap. And that's why I wanted to show the washi samples that I just did that are hid here somewhere because I've just put everything on top of it. But anyway, if you guys have any questions, you can just still 
you know, um, send me a message on SwapBot, but I kind of just wanted to go over everything with you guys and show you basically, um, how I do the swaps. Here's the washi tape sample. Um, how I, how I kind of basically wanted to show you how to do the swaps in here and everything like that. But like I said, it would be great if you go to your profile and just put some likes and dislikes, your planner that you have, that would be great. Just update it. And please, 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 when you get your swap, rate your partner. That's going to be really important. I want to make sure we are all feeling safe with our, uh, with these swaps and that we know that we're going to get our swap and we can all have fun with these. So make sure you rate your partners and if you have any other questions um give me a, a message oh one other thing that i wanted to show you too is like this is groups this is our planner group group friends and this is where i go to like accept you guys or whatever this is you can go on here and it always shows you what swaps we're doing and i will always send out a message when we're doing a swap but you can go on here and just hit groups and find other planner related groups too. You can just search in there, it'll show you things. Or if you want to just if you if you were enjoying this process and just want to do more swaps, hit find swaps. And it shows you all the swaps that there's that's available. Just make sure you pay attention to if it's international or you you know, or regional US. Uh, what you're swapping, look for the rules, make sure, you know, how many partners there is, the swap dates, make sure you make sure you check in on that. And like I said, let's say you wanted to do this one and it looks interesting, but you don't know for sure if you want to do it yet or not. Just hit watch swap. Okay. And then you're just watching it and it, they'll actually send you a message when it's getting close. And then you can go over to your dashboard and it says sent, stuff that you've sent out, stuff you're hosting, stuff you've archived, which means you're done with the swap and you're done with it. I never archive a swap until I've rated it. Once I've received it and rated it, then I do. And then here's your watch list. And here's some of the just swaps that I'm kind of watching that have a while yet to do, but I just wanted to show you that. So, okay. So that's all I wanted to show you. If you have any questions, just send me a message. Thanks, guys. Bye.